Okay, I wanted to just um, go over um, how to uh, access the uh, various ebooks that are available um, through on, on your iPad. And I thought it would be easier to just record the screen than it would be just to um, send written instructions. So what we're looking for here is Sora. And you can see it over on my screen. It's third column down all the way over to the right. It looks like a fat airplane. <laughs> um, a lot of people debate what it is. But um, for uh, your purposes, if it's, if it's not there, it is in your self-service folder. And you will need to go install it. So you can pause this recording and go to your self-service folder and go ahead and install it if you don't have it installed already. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open mine and I probably will need to log off. Yes, yeah, so give me a quick chance to sign out of mine and so that I get to the same screen you're gonna get to. Okay, so once you open it for the first time, this is what your screen will look like. And um, there are a couple of ways to get in. Um, the first is if yours says, my school is Broom Tayagoboses, like mine says in the green uh, bubble here, you'll click that, you'll get to a drop down menu, and you will then go to right there where it says Owego Apple Aiken Central School District. You'll click there, and then you'll sign in with your Google credentials. If you don't get this green bubble, but instead, get something that looks like this, which um, many of you will, and that's fine. You really want to look for the, the big white window where it says Broom Tioga Boses. For some of you, it might say Broom Tioga Boses and then something like Binghamton High School underneath, which is fine. You could still just click, this is my school, and you will then get to the same drop-down menu and a Wego Appalachian. Once you've signed in for the first time, it won't, you won't have to go through all this again. So I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna sign in. And Ms. Hammett, if you're watching this, you can do this too. You have access to all this. So I would um, strongly suggest you have that on there. Um, all right, so once you get in here, you will then have, um, you will see this first window that says available now. Um, and it means that these are books that are literally available right now. Um, what I want to point out to you, I'm sure some of you really like to read audiobooks so that your primary way of getting the book information is to listen to it. And you'll see that this book, What Happened to You, on the bottom shelf on the left side and Midnight Sun, um, on the bottom row, both have what look like headphone icons uh, um, under them. That means those are audiobooks. Um, so if you really like audiobooks, Sora is an excellent resource for accessing audiobooks. Then if it doesn't have the headphones underneath it, like most of the other books on this, uh, on these rows, um, you can just, you can open it up and you can read it. And you can see right in the blue bottom of the blue square, it says over 3,100 books are available right now for you. That is a lot. <laughs> you can also um, see if you, if you can go to just scroll up a little bit, and you can see popular subjects. So if you like horror, see over there on the right where it says horror, you can click there and look at the horror books. If you like mystery, there's mystery on the second column down. If you like fantasy, all sorts of good things that you can have available to you. And then what I want to emphasize is over here on the top left where it says comic and graphic books, you have tons of comic books and graphic novels and manga that are available here. And so if you click there, um, you can see that we have lots available here. There's the Wings of Fire series, which is really awesome. There's Long Way Down, which is an amazing book. Um, just lot, there's Avatar The Last Airbender, lots of good stuff available to you. Now, what I want to show you in this row right here. So notice how this Meet the Superheroes book uh, says place hold, and it's got a little um, clock icon. That means that that book is already checked out. 
Okay, we don't just have thousands of copies of, of Meet the Superheroes. We only have one, even though it's a digital copy. It means somebody else has it. But do go ahead and hit place hold if you want it. And then when it disappears off that person's iPad, which is, that's the way it works. They don't send it back. Sora just sucks it off their iPad. It will then show up on yours and you will then have it. So anything you see in here that says place hold, even though it's not available right away, go ahead and hit place hold because then you'll get it whenever it's, whenever it's available. But if you look at Marianne Saves the Day, that's second row down all the way over on the right, it says borrow. That means it's available right now. And I just want to give you a, a sense of what they look like on the iPad. So for Wings of Fire, I'm going to just hit where it says read sample. And this just gives you, it's not the whole book, but it gives you a little bit of the book. And I just want to show you how terrific it looks on the iPad. Looks so good. Um, so I would strongly suggest that you take a look at the graphic novels that are available to you on your iPad. So I'm going back to the Explore. And you can see there's more here. If you wanted to look at picture books, there's books for elementary school. There's most popular. Um, all sorts of good um, things to kind of take a look at. The other thing I want to do very quickly while I have your attention is I wanted to go ahead and add even more books available to you in Sora. So I want us to click the three lines up in the top right corner of your screen. And you are going to go, you're going to click the blue bubble that says add library. And what you are searching for is NY reads. When it comes up, you will hit this is my school. Now I'm already in, so um, I'm going to, uh, I, I, your screen won't look like my screen. Um, but what you will get when you hit this is my school is a very, very long drop down menu, and you will then need to look for a Wego. The, uh, the list is alphabetical, so you're going to have to scroll for and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and keep scrolling till you get to a Wego. Once you find a Wego, you'll click on it, you'll log in with your credentials just like you did before, and um, then you'll have access. And then again, like I said before, once you add the library, you won't ever have to go through all this again. And you'll see then now we have, and so now up at the top right, it says NY Reads. So there are all these audiobooks that show up right at the top. And now we have even more um, young adult fiction. We have more classic literature. So not just what is available to you through our um, subscription to Sora, but now you've added more. And you might have noticed when I clicked my three lines over here, there are other libraries you can add. You just have to have an account with those. They are free, but um, you know that's something we could talk about later. Um, so I just wanted to make sure you know um, where all these different sources are available to you and um, and take advantage. Uh, if you have any further questions, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording, and I will send this recording to Ms. Hammett. Thanks.